Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C. Let's go ahead and do the next mission here in FS Port. The PBD Hope is leading the, the Antari system after an intense battle. It has that sustained moderate hopeful. damage and will be jumping to the Beta Optimus system. It's only sustained system. moderate damage. That's great hope. Like I said, they we suck that name to help cover the really badly. Uh, they actually hired professional riders for Free Space 2, but it will be and, uh, before they or at die. least that's what I hear. At the very least, they did a lot better in Free Space 2 and a lot of their later games. I mean, this is really one of Volition's early games. Uh, this is actually back, uh, right after, well, not right after, but it was one of the first ones that they actually made as Volition. Uh... They used to be partnered, well, they used to be another company called Parallax, which uh, made the original Descent games, uh, which is where this gets its, uh, part of its name from, at least, uh, what do they say, Descent Free Space, the Great War, uh, which is the uh, name of the game, at least here in the U.S. Uh, they got the Descent part from that franchise, and, uh, Eventually, they decided that what they wanted to do was split up Where's the hope? Uh, to be temporarily, and they split up into uh, Volition and Outrage. Outrage continued making Descent with Descent 3, and Volition went on to make Free Space 1, which is this game. Unfortunately, Interplay went bankrupt, and uh, Outrage got closed down in the whole kerfuffle, and uh, Descent... Uh, never saw another sequel, and uh, Interplay tried to get some money for Descent 4 by doing a Fallout MMO, but they couldn't help. Uh, they couldn't really do a good job on at it. So uh, Bethesda kind of shut that down, and uh, Volition went on to THQ, but uh, THQ didn't get full rights for Free Space, so Volition never made a Free Space 3, and uh, with THQ shut down, uh, Volition now has absolutely none of the rights to the Free Space, I, I, I'm sorry, Free Space IP, I've had a long day at work, I can't really talk right now, and uh, Interplay has all the rights, but they don't really have a development studio to complete the game. Anyways, let's go in and try and deal with the fact that the Hope is severely damaged instead of moderately damaged. Which is supposed to give us great hope. They could have at least put it at like 42%. I mean, an extra 6% wouldn't have meant much. And, you know, could have had a nice little reference in there. Because one thing I will give these guys is they do have a good sense of humor. Enemy wing has just okay, that's arrived. a lot of bombers. Born to fill and bombers arriving. Engaging. Do I have reinforcements? Yes, I have reinforcements. I'm calling in my reinforcements. Epsilon wing has arrived. Waiting order. really don't trust the hope to hold out very long against these bombers. And I'd rather just take them out with overwhelming force. Uh, would have been nice to see this sort of number of bombers in the last mission. And in case you're wondering, no reinforcements are technically not free. Uh, a pair of bombs going off right there. Got caught in the blast. But uh, reinforcements actually, if you call them in, it deducts from the points you get from the mission in the invisible point system and uh, can affect how quickly you're promoted. With that said, the points really don't matter. It's kind of like whose line is it anyway, so uh, not really going to worry about that. I'm going to call in sports ship because I'm almost out of missiles. I've got one volley left. I may have to use it. Enemy wing has just arrived. Shoot. 
Oh, a dragon class fighter. They're pretty maneuverable, but it's hard to dodge this amount of laser fire. Which I, I actually do speak from experience because uh, I have tried Free Space 2 on higher difficulty levels and uh, there are a few missions where you have to deal with that level of laser fire and it does not go well. Alright, that bomber's down and let's take this guy out. Oh shoot, I got a fighter on me, so I can't really slow down for support. Okay, he's going down, so let's stop the ship and get more missiles. I think the support timer is uh, based on the official Windows file transfer timer because you notice how it uh, counted up Reality once complete, sir. right there and even with me sitting still and all that it couldn't predict exactly when the support ship was going to get here. Oh. That's Strike cruiser great. System. No fighter escort. Also, I should probably explain something here just so nobody gets uh, the wrong idea about the naming. Where it says SC Kane, that's not uh, saying that it's a strike cruiser. I mean, it probably is one, but uh, the S is actually for Sheevan. It's designating it as a Sheevan cruiser. And basically what you'll have is it will have the... Uh, oh shit, I just took a lot of damage there. I should probably watch what I'm doing while I'm explaining game mechanics. Roger, sir. On our way. But you'll have the species first for the ship. So like the Hope is the PBD Hope. And uh, that's the uh, first two letters in the case of the Terrans and the Pseudans with PV being parliamentarily the Pseudan and then D designating it as a destroyer. Uh, fighters are designated with F, uh, freighters are FR, cruiser is C, uh, I believe corvettes are CR. There's none in Free Space 1, but there will be in Free Space 2. And uh, I think there's a few others, but... Okay, ISIS repair. I guess ISIS repair here. Okay. Something to repair the home. Oh shit, another cruiser. Oh good. At least we got uh, some help. Still really shitty names here. I mean, I suppose we can always get an in-the-universe explanation that the people responsible for naming Sheevan ships, considering we don't really know what the name of these ships are, complete, sir. Uh, and the people responsible naming the student ships since they have their own language and they're not actually named with English names. I suppose you can get the excuse that they died horribly in some sort of a Sheevan attack or something like that. Because whoever's coming up with the names now is just absolute shit at it. Okay, good. I was only at the outer edge of that blast, so I didn't actually get badly damaged. Though it looks like I've lost another fighter. I lost uh, Alpha 2 uh, in the initial explosion from that one cruiser, and then uh, Alpha 4 just died. Oh, fucking cowards. Came in to help with that one cruiser, and then they run. Well, let's go ahead and try and engage these dragons here. Uh, the Dragon does have a bit better maneuverability than my fighter, I believe. But we're going to make up for that with the fact that there's a shit ton more fighters on our side. And also, apparently, the Dragon pilot is drunk because he just crashed into somebody. I guess the uh, Sheevans have takers or something like that. Okay, I'm 
I'm gonna fire missiles and see if they get him. Yep. He's gone. You can dodge lasers, but can you dodge missiles? Probably. Yep. Like I said, those aren't the most maneuverable missiles. Uh, the only reason I even hit that other one was because it was basically just a straight shot. And the AI can actually become preoccupied. Which is one of the nice things mechanic-wise about the game. Uh, you can actually get to the point where the AI actually will not notice you. Uh, not through any sort of stealth or anything like that. But because it's preoccupied on other things. Uh, similar to how uh, real flesh and blood uh, sentient beam would be. I'd say human beam, but these are aliens. Shut the fuck up, Beta One. We still got plenty of fighters left. Plenty of fighters and plenty of missiles, apparently, because still getting a bunch of uh, missiles here. Alright. Alright, pilots, the Hulk needs a few more minutes. Let's get the job done. We heard him, Beta One. Or at least I think it's a him. I can't really tell what gender the students are or what genders they have. There we go. Another bomber down. Let's take this guy up to the right. Oops. Got a bomb there. Okay, looks like more bombers are inbound, and... Okay, I think, yeah, there they are. That's a lot of them, actually. Oops, he did not get hit by the Hope's Fire. Because those bobs will actually fuck you up if you get hit by them. Not too badly, uh, but they will hurt. Alright, so let's take the bombers out. Oh, good. I probably should get away from the Hope, because they're probably about to jump, but I really don't want to die due to collision. Almost 12 minutes into this. Alright, I think I'm clear of it. Yep. Roger, sir. On our way. Get support over here so I can get some more missiles. Alright, I guess he's not going to uh, do anything. Just sit there, I guess. Our communication system is fully operational. Oh, good. Alpha One, we have arrived to escort the Hope to the Aqualay installation. You may return to base. Okay, so mission complete. Rearming complete, sir. Doesn't look like it's set the Guard Hope objective to complete, but we'll count this as complete since it said return to base. Well done, pilot. This Conspicuous mission was gallantry more intense again. Than we had expected, thanks to the Shiva. How many do I have? Fortunately, you were able to hang on until okay, the just two. reinforcements arrived. Very impressive. Let's see. Well, until next time, this is Trekkie1701C. Uh, please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment.